Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. Amen and amen. <clears throat> amen. I give God the glory. What has made it possible for us to be alive in the land of the living? We give thanks unto the Almighty God in the name of Jesus. We thank Him because He made it possible for us to enter into this new glorious month. And I know that God, who has made it possible, will see us through in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. You are greatly welcome to the Golden Treasure Hub. And I know, and I know that the presence of God is here with us. Hallelujah. And as we go into today's broadcast, the hand of the Lord will enrich us in the name of Jesus. Even as we have entered into this month of divine favor, favor of God will enrich you and your family. The favor of God will enrich me and my family in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's bow our head to pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, eternal rock of ages, the great I am that I am, the root of Jesse, the lion of trouble of Judea, the one who speaks and it comes to pass, the one who seated on the throne, maketh the earth his foot to, the one who rule and reign the fears of men. Oh God, we say thank you. We appreciate you for whom you are in our lives, in our family, in our business, in our job, in our careers, even in our ministry. Father, we say thank you in the name of Jesus. We appreciate you, oh God, for your mercy and your goodness upon us in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. We are starting by thanking God for his great love and mercy shown towards us in the month of supernatural manifestation. Before we go into today's topic, briefly, I want us to appreciate God. If you thank the Lord, he will do great and mighty thing in our lives. And that's why we have to lift up our voices and begin to appreciate this God. For how far he has led us, for his mercy, for his love, for his goodness upon our lives in the previous month. Lord, we thank you. We appreciate you. We give praise and thanksgiving unto your mighty holy name. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your love you have shown towards us, O oh God, and our family members. We say thank you in the name of Jesus. We appreciate you for your hand of protection. We thank you for preservation over our lives and destiny. We say thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. Can you lift up your voice and begin to appreciate God for divine protection, for the covenant of preservation? Let's appreciate God. He protected us. He preserved us. He sustained us. Let's appreciate God in the mighty name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and thank God for his covenant of preservation, for his covenant of prosperity, for his covenant of blessings and successes. Let's appreciate the name of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, the Lord has preserved us. The Lord has kept us. Lord, we say thank you. The Lord has shielded us. We say thank you, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we say thank you. We appreciate you, O oh God. For you are a covenant-keeping God. Thank you from the beginning of the year. Till now, O oh God, you have been there for us. You have been keeping us. You have been protecting us. We say thank you over our husband. We say thank you over our wife. We say thank you over our children. We say thank you over everyone that love us, that wish us good things, that pray for us. We say thank you. We appreciate you for keeping every one of us alive to this moment. We say thank you in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. We are still thanking the Lord. 
for defending us and fighting our battles, giving us victory in all sides, both spiritual and physical. I want us to lift up our voices and begin to say, Father, I thank you for defending me and my family members. Father, I thank you for fighting battles, giving us victory each day of our lives. Father, we say thank you in the name of Jesus. Thank you for defending us, oh God. Thank you for defending us, oh God. Thank you for fighting our battles, oh God. Thank you for victory has given unto us in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and begin to appreciate God for victory has given unto us in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, we say thank you. Oh Lord, we say thank you. Our Father, we say thank you. The one who, who always surrounds us with his presence, we say thank you. In the name of Jesus, the scripture said in the book of Zechariah, chapter 4, verse 6, and it says to Zerubbabel, it is not by might nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. I want us to thank the Lord for his mighty power over our lives and destiny, for his power, O oh God, that rescued us from the hands of enemy. Let us appreciate God in the name of Jesus. Bible says it's not he that will it, nor run it, but it's for God that show it mercy. Thank the Lord God Almighty for his mercy that enjoys forever over our lives, over our family, over everyone, that everything that concerns us. Lift up your voice and begin to appreciate this God for his mercy in the name of Jesus. He said, I will have mercy to them, to those I will have mercy. It is the mercy of God. You and I, are, we are not consumed. Lift up your voice and begin to appreciate this God for his mercy in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, O oh God, for showing us your mercy each day of our lives. Lord, we say thank you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, we appreciate you, O oh Lord. We thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and begin to appreciate God for provision he made available to foot your bills. Lord, we say thank you in the name of Jesus for providing for us, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, you have not allowed us, O oh God, to lack any good thing from you. Lord, we say thank you for providing for us in the name of Jesus, providing finances, oh God, providing material things for us, we say thank you. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice. Have God provided for you when you less expected. Why not lift up your voice and begin to say, Father, I thank you for providing for me. I thank you for paying my bills. I thank you in the name of Jesus. Let us appreciate God for paying our children's school fees. Lift up your voice. Ah, it is a privilege. It is not because we know how to do it. It's because God is in it. Oh God, we say thank you. We appreciate you, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. Oh God, we say thank you. Oh God, we say thank you. In the name of Jesus. For supplying all our needs according to the riches in Christ Jesus. Oh God, we say thank you. Thank you for supplying what money can buy, what money cannot buy. Today we are thanking you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, oh God, for making provision available. We appreciate you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We praise your name. We worship you. In the name of Jesus, oh God, we say thank you. Awesome God, we say thank you. Wonderful God, we say thank you for marvelous things you have done in our lives and destiny. We are appreciating you, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, King of glory. Lift up your voice and praise this God. Awesome God, wonderful God, doing great and marvelous things in our lives and destiny. Lift up your voice and appreciate him. He is glorious God. He is an excellent God. He is God that never leave us. He is God that never left us. He is God that sit there for us. Oh God, we say thank you. 
In the name of Jesus, I appreciate God for his eyes that is upon us. Thank God because we have been engraved in his palm. Oh Lord, we say thank you. Thank you for we are apple of your eyes, oh God. We say thank you for watching over us. In the name of Jesus, thank you for guiding us, oh God. Thank you for leading us, oh God. Thank you for navigating for us, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, our Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Amen. Psalm 90, verse 17. I read New King James Version. And it says, And let the beauty of the Lord our God be upon us, and establish the work of our hands for us. Yes, establish the work of our hands. The beauty of God is upon you. The beauty of God is upon your business. The beauty of God is upon your career, your job. Lift up your voice and say, Father, let your beauty continue to be upon me and my family members. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and begin to say, Father, let your beauty continue to be upon us. In the name of Jesus, let your beauty, O oh God, continue to be upon me, continue to be upon my family members. In the mighty name of Jesus, as your word has said, O oh God, in Psalm 90 verse 17, let the beauty of the Lord our God be upon us and establish the work of our hands. Yes, establish the work of our hands. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for establishing the work of our hands, oh God, in the name of Jesus, for praise of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Father, we glorify your holy name in the name of Jesus for the work of our hands, oh Lord. We say thank you in the name of Jesus. We thank you, oh God, for the work of our hands, our businesses, oh God, Lord. We say thank you in the name of Jesus for establishing it, oh God, for us, profiting it, oh God, for us. Father, we say thank you in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Receive our thanksgiving, O oh God. Receive our praises, O oh God, over the work of our hands, over our business, O oh God, over our career and jobs, in the name of Jesus, over our ministry, our assignment, O oh God. In your very heart, we say thank you for establishing it, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Last month was supernatural manifestation. It takes the power of God and his help to manifest the glory of God. And I want us to thank the Lord for grace given unto us to manifest his glory in our business, in our career, in our job, in the work of our hands. Can you lift up your voice and say, oh God, I thank you for grace to manifest your glory in my business, in my career, in my job, in the name of Jesus. Your grace, O oh God, granted unto us to manifest in our marriages, to manifest your glory in our families, in the name of Jesus, to manifest your glory in our spiritual life. Father, we say thank you. Lift up your voice and begin to say, Father, I thank you for the grace he has given unto me to manifest your glory in all sides of my life, in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for radiating your glory in my business, in my career, in my job, in my ministry, in my marriage, in my family. Oh God, I thank you for the grace to manifest your glory, to radiate your glory in all that I do. Father, receive my thanks, receive my praises in the name of Jesus. Lord, I also thank you for everyone on this broadcast for giving them grace to manifest your glory in all that they do. Lord, we say thank you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, our helper, our Ebenezer, the lifter of our hands. We say thank you. Thank you, O God, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are giving thanks. Amen and amen. We are still going to pray. 
using Psalm 44, verse 4. I read King James Version. He says, Thou art my king, O God, command deliverances for Jacob. Command deliverances for your, mention your name. Thou art my king, O God, command deliverances for me, Ngazi. In the name of Jesus, let us lift up our voice and say, Father, I thank you for commanding deliverances for me and my family members now and always. Father, I thank you for commanding, O oh God, deliverances over my life and destiny. In the name of Jesus, it is God that deliver us from the snares of the enemy. It is God that deliver us from the fire that the enemy has set against us, even in the secret places. Let us begin to say, Father, I thank you for commanding deliverances over my life and destiny. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you. According to your word, O oh God, thank you for commanding deliverances, O oh God, over my life and destiny, over my children, over my husband, over my wife, over my relatives, over my well wishes and loved ones. Father, I say thank you for commanding deliverances, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we appreciate you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. We are still going to pray again and say, Oh God, my Father, I thank you for answering my prayers in the name of Jesus. Have God not been good to you? Have God not answered your prayers? God is so faithful. It is God that answers prayers. I want us to lift up our voice and say, Oh God, my Father, I thank you for answering my prayers, oh God. In the name of Jesus, even those ones who thought that God has not answered, he has answered them. He's waiting for them the right time to bring it to pass. God has heard us. God has answered us. But everything will not come at the same time. There are things that God is going to release in future. It does not mean he has delayed. It does not mean he has not answered. He has answered us. Because his timetable is different, different from our own timetable. Therefore, we are going to lift up our voice and say, Oh God, my Father, I thank you for answering my prayers. In the name of Jesus, I thank you for prayers you have answered already. Even those I'm waiting for, oh God, I thank you in advance because I'm sure you have answered them. Lord, I thank you in the name of Jesus for answering our prayers, oh God. Every prayer we have uttered, every of our petitions, oh God, we have uttered before you, we are presented before you, whether secret, secretly or openly, Lord, we are giving you thanks for answering them all. We say thank you in the name of Jesus. We say thank you in the name of Jesus. We say thank you in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' much less name, we have given thanks. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Can you lift up your voice and begin to thank the Lord for putting testimony, laughter in your mouth? Let's lift up our voice and begin to appreciate God because God has done great and wonderful things. He has put testimonies in our mouth. He has put laughter in our mouth. Let's appreciate God. Father, we say thank you. Collectively, we say thank you. Individually, we say thank you. Lord, I say thank you, O oh God, for putting testimonies in our mouth, O oh God. For laughter you are putting in our mouth, O oh God. We say thank you in the name of Jesus. We say thank you in the name of Jesus. Abba Father, we say thank you for joy you are put in our heart, O oh God, for peace you have released in our lives. Even in this critical time, O oh God, we say thank you for peace. We say thank you for peace. We say thank you for joy unstoppable. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we say thank you, O oh God. Thank you, O oh God. Thank you, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, 
Malila le bo sinta di bragada bo sinta. Ezanda ikari bregade reke bo si katara bragada. Mazente ikali bregade. Raka basu zeze ni mahala bo zukotori bregade. Lord, we say thank you for answering our prayers. Father, we say thank you for receiving our thanksgiving. Father, we say thank you in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Amen, amen. We give you glory, Lord. We give you glory, Lord. As we praise you, we give you glory, Lord. As we worship you, you are wonderful. You are worthy, O oh God. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O oh God. Hallelujah. I'm so excited because the Lord made it possible for us to enter into a glorious new month, the month of divine favor. Once again, you're welcome to the month of divine favor. And I know and I'm sure you are going to experience favor from the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. So surely we are going to look at the book of Esther, chapter 2, verse 16 to 17. I will read it in NIV. Hallelujah. Open your scripture with me. Let's dive into it shortly. Hallelujah. Having given praises and thanksgiving unto the Lord, let's look into the word of God this moment. I read Esther chapter 2, verse 16 and 17, NIV translation. And it says, She was taken to King Xerxes in the royal residence in the 10th month, the month of Tibet, in the seventh year of his reign. Verse 17, Now the king was attracted to Esther, more than to any of the other women and she won and she won his favor and approval more than any of the other virgins hallelujah so he set a royal crown on her head and made her queen instead of vashit hallelujah amen esther won the heart of the king. Amen. In this season of favor and in this tenth month, you will attract dignitaries into your life and men and women of value and substance. In the name of Jesus, you will attract men and women of influence into your life, into your destiny into your business, into your career, into your ministry, in the name of Jesus. Esther was attracted. Esther was favored. The king set a royal crown on her head. Hallelujah. Amen. In the name of Jesus, as Esther won favor and approval more than any other virgins, God will give you approval in your contract. In the name of Jesus, God will give you approval and favor before your client and customers. In the mighty name of Jesus, as the king set a royal crown on Esther's head, the Lord God will crown your effort and grant you and grant you promotion in the mighty name of Jesus. And in this month, as God favors you, you will make profits. You will make good successes in our size, in the name of Jesus. 
in the name of Jesus, the Lord will prosper you. In the mighty name of Jesus, Esther was made queen instead of Vashit. You will be preferred among your equals. In the name of Jesus, I say you will be preferred among your equals. You will stand out among your equals. You will be sought after among your equals. In this month of divine favor, favor will locate you. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will be preferred because oil of gladness is upon you. It's upon your head. It's upon your business. It's upon your career. It's upon your marriage. It's upon your family. It's upon your husband, your wife. It's upon your children. In the mighty name of Jesus, listen to what the Bible said in Hebrews chapter 1, verse 9. I read in King James Version. Thou hast loved righteousness and hated iniquity. Therefore, God, even thy God, has anointed thee with oil of gladness above thy fellows. Hallelujah. So shall it be over your life and destiny. Because the oil of gladness is upon you. And the Lord said, because you hated iniquity and you love righteousness. In this divine more, in this divine divine favor, God will anoint you above your fellows, above your companions. In the name of Jesus, amen and amen. As favor located Esther, so also favor of the Lord will locate you. In the mighty name of Jesus, nobody will take your place. In the name of Jesus, remember Esther, take the place of Vashit. But in your own case, no one will take your position. No one will take your place. In the name of Jesus, because the oil of gladness is upon you, it's upon the work of your hands. People would prefer coming to your business place. People would prefer to patronize you because the oil of gladness is upon you. Because favor has located you. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. In this passage, we read Esther chapter 2, verse 16 and 17. Esther found favor with the king during the tenth month, in this tenth month of the year. Favor of men will locate you. Favor of God will locate you. In the name of Jesus, the tenth month is called Tabet in the Hebrew calendar. This favor was a crucial turning point in the story as Esther's position as queen allowed her to allowed her to intercede on behalf of her people. Amen. And save them from plot and save them from a plot to, to humiliate them. Hallelujah. When is most needed? You will be positioned to make a difference in your world. When it is most needed for you to intercede for your people, for them to be saved from ridicule, the Lord will find you, the Lord will find you in the name of Jesus. When it's most needed for your voice to be heard. You will be available in the name of Jesus. I will make a difference in your world. You will make a difference in your family. You will make a difference in your business. You will make a difference in your society. You will make a difference in your church, in your fellowship. In the mighty name 
name of Jesus. It was a turning point for Esther. He was positioned to intercede for her people. And her people, Jew, the Jews, were saved. Because Esther came to position of influence at the right time when she was most needed to deliver his to deliver her people from the hand of Haman. Today, God will position you. God will position your family. God will position your business to make a difference in your world. In the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. You will stand to save life at the right time and at the right place. Esther was in the palace at the right time and at the right place to deliver her people. Hallelujah. Esther's story is a powerful example of divine favor at work. Hallelujah. Remember, we are talking about divine favor. Throughout this season, throughout this month, we will be talking about divine favor in different perspectives. But today, Esther was a powerful example of divine favor at work. And she was chosen from many candidates. There were many virgins. She was not the only one. But favor distinguished her. Hallelujah. And giving her a position of influence at a critical time for her people. Amen. You are in that organization because God has found you to be there to deliver and to save your organization from downfall. You are in that business at a time like this to make a difference. You are in that fellowship at a time like this to add value. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. So wherever you find yourself, know it that the hand of God is upon you. Know it because the hand of God has favored you. The hand of God has singled you out and positioned you. Amen. My prayer for you and I is that we will not miss the opportunity God has presented before us. In the name of Jesus, we will not miss it. Hallelujah. No one will take our position. No one will take our place. In the name of Jesus, amen and amen. Hallelujah. What is divine favor? As we have seen what happened in the life of Esther. Know it that it's not by power, it's not by mind, but the, by the power of the Holy Spirit, doing great and wonderful work in our lives. Amen. Divine favor refers to the, to the unmerited kindness grace or blessing that a person receives from God. Divine favor refers to the unmerited kindness, grace or blessing that a person receives from God. That is divine favor. You do not merit it. You do not work for it. But God gave it to you. Hallelujah. It is often seen as God's special assistance. Divine favor is seen as God's assistant, God's special assistant to your life. 
and to your destiny. God's special assistance over your being. Amen. It's often seen as God's special approval over your life and destiny or intervention in a person's life, enabling you to experience benefits or success beyond human efforts. Hallelujah. Favor of God over your life, over your destiny is beyond human efforts. It shows by the mercy and grace and intervention of God that God has granted you favor. It's not that you merit it. It's not that you earn it. It's not by your work or by your effort. It's just special assistance or approval of God in your life and destiny. You're making profit in your business. Even this time, people are closing up their shops, closing up their business because people are no longer patronizing them. But you're still in that business. No, it is a special approval and intervention of God towards your business. It's not because you know how to do it. It's not because you know how to calculate it. It's not because you know how to call customers. It's just God's approval. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Divine favor is not something earned by personal merit but rather a gift a gift granted by god's grace hallelujah that's why you have to give glory to god all the time just give glory to god is just by his grace just by his mercy that has kept you that has kept me hallelujah Amen. It's just by the mercy of God that you're breathing in and out. People are paying dearly in the hospital for them to have oxygen, artificial, artificial air. But God has given to you free of charge, he has given to me free of charge. Remember, we are not better than them just by the grace of god just by the mercy of god just by special approval of god hallelujah amen divine favor divine favor is a gift granted to you by god grace amen and that is the reason why we need to do all we could do to appreciate this God, to draw more closer than ever, to praise Him. Amen. Hallelujah. It is the oil of God that has distinguished you. Hallelujah. I pray for you and I that throughout this season, and beyond divine favor of god will be our portion in the name of jesus it shall be the portion of our family members in the name of jesus divine favor in our businesses divine favor in our careers divine favor in our marriages divine favor in our families divine favor in our in our ministries in the name of jesus amen and amen hallelujah esther an orphan receive favor from the lord he received favor from the king amen if god's hand is not in it it doesn't matter what preparation they have made. Remember the Bible said for 12 good months, they were preparing them 
to present them before the king. Hallelujah. Remember the scripture told us that other virgins took along with some certain things. But Esther was contented with what the custodian has given to her. The others requested for other things. And the hand of God was upon her. She was favored. She was chosen. She was highly placed. She took the position of Vashit. Hallelujah. No one will take your place. In your marriage, no one will take your place. In your family, no one will take your place. In the life of your husband, your children, your wife, no one will take your place. In the name of Jesus, amen and amen. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Amen. Glory be to Jesus. We will continue to receive the gift of favor by the grace of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Anywhere we go, anywhere we step to, grace will follow us to grant us favor in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to Jesus. I know you have been blessed with this, with just this short exhortation. And as we continue in this season, we will see the hand of God in all we do in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. If you really want God to favor you, you need to invite Jesus into your life. You need to surrender your life to him. Because grace of God, favor of God comes from him. It doesn't come from any other thing. So if you want to experience it in your life, in all you do, you must invite Jesus into your life. Make him your Lord and your personal savior by confessing your shortcomings. You know what you do in the secret place. You know what you do in the open. You know the words that always come out of your mouth. You know your actions and your reactions. Why not tell the Lord to show you mercy? Why not ask the Lord to forgive you in any way you have erred, in any way you have missed it? Ask him to have mercy on you, to forgive you. He's standing right there at the door of your heart. Will you open it for him to come in? Why not open it and let him come into your life? Let him be your Lord and your personal Savior so that you will enjoy God's favor. Hallelujah. If you don't want to toil in life, give your life to Jesus. Amen. Why not begin to ask him to come in? Open the door of your heart. He said, if you open it, he will come in and sup with you. And you with him, according to Revelation chapter 3, verse 20. Don't shut the door of your heart against him. Your life will not remain the same when he come in to take position, to take charge of your life. Amen. If you have done that, congratulations. Amen. And amen. Once again, this is the Golden Treasure Hub with Ingoze Guzoro. Please like and share.
share the link to your family and friends follow the page the golden treasure hub in instagram in facebook also subscribe to my youtube channel the golden treasure hub i will be richly be blessed you can as well go back to our previous broadcast who also benefit from it even today so you can go back to it and god will reveal himself the more god will speak to you the more in the name of jesus as you do so as you like and share and put on a comment in the comment box and tell us what resonates with you you will be blessed and god will empower you the more and god will answer your prayers in the name of jesus amen and amen hallelujah amen till we see you again remain blessed in the name of jesus i love you all with the love of god amen shalom peace bye for now hallelujah